So you've got your brand new G29 set up and ready to go on Logitech's G Hub software. In case you don't know how to set it up, we've already done a video on that. So go ahead and check that out. But once you're done setting it up, it should appear uh, something like this in your G Hub software. Now, when I click on this, uh, you can see that I have some assignments that I can make. I have uh, my steering wheel and then I have my pedals. Now, the pedals in here are just to check whether or not everything is functioning as it should. So as you can see, as I'm pressing the gas, I can uh, guess, uh, get a feeling for the red zones, see how far ahead everything is. The same happens for the clutch. So the clutch seems to have a small dead zone right at the very end. And then the same happens for the brake, which has this progressive thing. So as I'm pushing it down, you can see that it stops at about 75% strength and then you really have to push hard to get to 100. Uh, so at that point, you can go ahead and adjust your sensitivity. So clutch sensitivity, accelerator sensitivity. So if you increase it, your accelerator is going to be more responsive as going to climb up to the top higher. Here you can decrease it so you're going to have to the accelerator just kicks in later takes a more linear route all the way up so i like leaving these settings to their defaults because then i like changing them according to the game uh, leaving them at default just removes a sort of a point of failure where you have to go and check your settings additionally then we have our steering wheel so as you can see, a uh, sensitivity slider on the steering wheel doesn't really mean much, uh, if you ask me. For example, if I dial it up to 100 and leave my steering wheel centered, as soon as I change it, as you can see, my wheel is physically at 0 degrees, but it's showing me 30. So this kind of just introduces very weird dead zones in the wheel. So I would really recommend leaving this to 50 and then having your wheel function as it ideally should. Operating range is the total range that you need to turn for your wheel. So for example, this is set to currently 900, which means I can rotate my wheel one and a half times in each direction. So I have 450 degrees of rotation on either side. Now, depending on the car that you're driving, you can tune this down, of course. So uh, you can tune it to, uh, let's say 360 which means that you now have 180 degrees of rotation on each side and you will start experiencing the centering spring once you get past that range so no uh, resistance until i reach 180 but as soon as i reach 180 the centering spring kicks in and uh, the wheel doesn't really read any input uh, this is also a setting that you're going to have to uh, adjust based on what cars you're driving and what races you're running Generally, I leave this at 900 and uh, make these changes in game. And then the final setting here is the centering spring strength. Now, what this does is uh, basically it brings your wheel back to the center. And if you have, if you're playing a non-force feedback game, uh, you want this to be enabled so that it can sort of snap the wheel back to the center. The strength you can adjust how strong you want the kickback from the wheel to be. I like leaving it at 100 because I race with both hands on the wheel and it's ni uh, nicer to fight the wheel and get some additional grip in up and running. Last but not least, we've got our assignments tab. So this is where uh, you can assign all of your different buttons to different options. As you can see, there's a ton of customization that you can do on the uh, G Hub app and there are a ton of buttons on the wheel as well. They are by default assigned to certain uh, causes and uh, that honestly is a pretty good thing to do. These two things, so uh, your uh, D-pad, if you zoom in, you will see that it's assigned already to a bunch of other things and if I go back to the triangle, square, circle and cross buttons, they are also assigned to particular things. So you can go ahead and change them. You can assign them to different keys. So this kind of makes making custom binds a little bit easier. You can have it set to different actions. You can create macros or you can even have it change uh, music and stuff like that. So uh, you can have applications, you can go to commands and you will find media commands in here somewhere. So we have editing, we have productivity, we have windows, open file explorer, all of these different things, navigation, 
and you can also go to system you can have all of your different media options here uh, lock screen so on and so forth i recommend leaving all of these settings to their defaults uh, because what they do is uh, you basically would be better off setting all of this in the game so that your games have different settings based on what car and what game you're playing and you don't have to fiddle around with Ghub. but if you want those options are here for example if you only play one game if you only play something like a set of course and you would want your wheels settings logged into place and not changing uh, you would be good to go now uh, another thing that you should keep in mind is the device settings option right here in the bottom left when you click on it it opens up your device settings uh, there are not a lot of device settings for the G29 uh, except for the firmware as you can see my firmware is already up to date so if there's a firmware update for the device it will show up here and Ghub will prompt you to get the update up and running and um, that's that those are all the settings and features of the G29 as showing up in the Logitech Ghub and uh, once the, you're all set up and ready to go you can start jump into your sim and start playing without problem. If you like this video, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up as a bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such videos can we make for you. If you'd like to know more about tech, visit our website, Canada Technology, follow us on social media and if you have a problem that you'd like a more customized or a more personalized fix to, do consider getting a membership. That's it for today. We'll see you in the next one.